All right, if you're using Google Sheets and you have a table of data, let's say just like the one right here, and what you want to do in this example here, at least, is that you want to separate out the rows based on the value of the city and put them each on their own worksheet. So when we're done doing this, we want to have a worksheet that says Boston with all of the rows that belong to Boston and then a new worksheet for Pittsburgh, new worksheet for Buffalo. So we're going to do this two ways. In this first worksheet, we're just going to do it in kind of a manual way. It's not very hard, but if you had 12, 15, 200 values in this column, the second technique that we're going to show you automates the process and gives you a predictable result with just a few clicks. So the first way that we can do this is you would go down to the lower left-hand corner, click on the plus sign to add a sheet, and we'll call this first one, let's see, what was our first city? Boston. We'll, we'll double click on sheet two, rename it Boston. And then we'll want to grab our header row, so highlight your header, right click on it, click copy, come into A1 on our new sheet and paste that header. And then we'll come into the first cell where our table data starts, which is A2 in this case, and we're going to use the filter function. And what the filter function does is that it looks at a certain table of data, so that'll be where we started, and then it will filter out everything except the criteria that we specify. So I'll show you what that means. We're going to do filter, and then it's asking for the range. And the range would be, uh, let's go over to this other sheet, and you'll look at the screen. This is still showing our formula and it starts out with the name of the sheet and an explanation point that's how you reference another sheet in google sheets and it's a2 i'm going to hold down the shift key and use the arrow keys here and the control key i'll go all the way down and this is our range a2 to e1001 so we want to filter that table i'll enter a comma and for the range where the criteria is we'll go to column e because that's where the cities are go all the way down to the bottom. And what we're looking for is when that equals, start out with a quote because this is just a string of characters, not a number, Boston. Close that off, hit enter. And the filter function returns all of the rows where column E is equal to Boston. So you could just repeat that process, right? Let's go back to the data. We'll go back up to the top. All right, several different steps here, but if you only have to do this a few times, let's grab that same filter function from the Boston worksheet. It just resides in the upper left-hand corner of this table. So when you do the filter function, you type it in A2, all of these other cells are written from what you put in A2. So if you want to grab it, you have to go back to cell A2. Highlight that, copy it. We'll come over to Pittsburgh. Paste it, something weird happened with the fonts, but we'll get that later. Boston to Pittsburgh. And there we go, let's, let's fix that weird font. And repeat that process, and you separate it out all of the sheets. So if you only have a few values in the city column in this example, then you're done. But let's look next at an example where you have lots of different cities. So we're saying there are too many here for you to go through, create a worksheet for each one. It's one that's going to take a long time and two that's going to be an error prone process where you may skip some. So let's look at our second solution. We'll go up to the add-ons and we'll go to a plugin called Power Tools and we'll start that up. All right, and while that loads up, there is an affiliate link down in the description. If after watching this, you think Power Tools is the right solution for you, if you use that link to check it out, you'll get a discount and you'll be helping to support my channel. So I would appreciate that. And after you install it, you'll get a menu like this that comes up. There's lots of different functionality here, but what we're going to show you this time is the split and the split sheet option. All right, so we'll left click on split sheet to split sheet by values and key columns is what it says. And it will bring up a menu. And it's asking you what column to use to split it by. So we don't want to do ID. Let's put a check mark in city. We'll uncheck ID. We'll leave it specifying that the table has headers so it doesn't try to split out that value. And we're going to put the values in this current spreadsheet, but we could make a new spreadsheet if we wanted to. All right, we have this lined up how we want. Let's left click on split. 
It runs the process in the background. And then when it's done, it's creating a new sheet for every value in the city column. And it's created 17 new sheets for us. Close this down. If you had 100, it would have created 100. We'll left click through some of these. That's all Washington, D.C. That's all Savannah. All right, and next up, we'll show you how to do some functions based on text color and background fill color using Power Tools. See you in that next video. Thanks.